Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Acts chapter 4, 1 and following. The priests and the captain of the temple guard and the Sadducees came up to Peter and John while they were speaking to the people. They were greatly disturbed because the apostles were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. The resurrection of Jesus Christ became the central theme of the apostles' message. They boldly declared that the miracles being performed, the glossolalia that was experienced on the day of Pentecost, and all that was now being experienced by the early church was powered by faith in the resurrected Messiah. The notion of the resurrected Messiah infuriated certain members of the Jewish religious circles. You see, they rightly concluded that if the Messiah actually resurrected, then that in itself was an affirmation of human resurrection. The Sadducees in particular were totally opposed to this. Acts chapter 23 and the verse 6 and following. Then Paul, knowing that some of them were Sadducees and the others Pharisees, called out in the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of a Pharisee. I stand on trial because of my hope in the resurrection of the dead. The apostles' mention of the hope in the resurrection of the dead was a declaration of his theological position, which again was a fuller revelation regarding the messianic hope. You see, by this time the apostles had embraced the fact that Jesus' death signaled the resurrection of the believers in Christ to be with him. This further revelation soon replaced the Old Testament concept of the messianic hope as a national political issue. The anticipation of a future Messiah who would lead politically and deliver them from their enemies as a nation sustained the people of God through their troubled times. The believers, however, in the New Testament anticipated the resurrection of the saints to be with the Lord. And this became that which sustained them despite intense persecution. They believed that though they and their loved ones died by the power of the resurrected Messiah, they would be resurrected at God's appointed time. This, my friends, is the hope we all share in Jesus Christ. We believe that despite the challenges of this life, and though we may experience death, we will live again. In fact, our Lord did proclaim this very clearly to Martha in John 11, 23 and following. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she told him. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who has come into the world. In 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 and following, the Apostle Paul declares, Brothers, we do not want you to be ignorant about those who fall asleep or to grieve like the rest of men who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him, According to the Lord's own word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left till the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. 
for the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a cloud with a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first after that we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air and so will we be with the Lord forever therefore encourage each other with these words during this Advent season as we celebrate the birth of our Lord let us also remember that because he lives we will live also should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-309-7302. If you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number and someone is standing by to support you. We invite you to join us for our New Year's Eve services, one at 7 p.m. and the other at 10. We also invite you to join us for our 21 days of prayer beginning on january 9 this is going to be an amazing time of fasting and prayer before the lord please invite all your families friends associate neighbors and all those in your social network may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with you all amen thank you for listening to the noonday meditation with pastor wayne vernon please forward this study to your friends your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.